Electron Avenger. Just 11 pounds and 20 inches long. These devices uh, are literally eyes in the sky uh, to us. Arlington Police Chief Theron Bowen says these unmanned aircraft are a powerful asset to the city. A situation uh, such as a major accident uh, with a chemical spill uh, that uh, may be hazardous for, for people to actually go into the area, we could request emergency authorization to fly the unmanned aircraft in to take a look. They're equipped with cameras that shoot still pictures and video, night vision equipment, and even heat sensing technology that will help the fire department. Being able to send a vehicle up to sense the origin of the fire, so to give them the tools in order to uh, determine where they're going to deploy their resources. During the evaluation phase, the drones are flown within the line of sight of the pilot and 400 feet above the ground. All of the U.S. and the FAA uh, is depending on our testing and experiment, uh, our experimentation to create a model for uh, law enforcement. Police may soon have the help of a watchful eye in the sky flying over their city. With terrorist attacks and everything else going on, I don't see it's a bad idea. Homeland Security grant dollars bought the city's first unmanned drone for the Super Bowl. And now the city of Arlington is the only U.S. city to have been granted a license from the FAA to fly an unmanned aircraft over an urban area. The idea is to provide an extra level of public safety for the city of Arlington. So any time that we can utilize progressive methods to increase our level of public safety, that's what we're doing and that's what we're looking at. Arlington Mayor Robert Klug said in a statement, I fully support using them. The police chief thinks they will be a huge advancement in public safety that will allow officers to view the entire city through aerial surveillance. The use of such drones has raised privacy concerns across the country. I think it's a good idea if you're going to keep the public safe. Uh, with big events, there's a lot of people around. Uh, I live near the stadium anyway, so making sure you know crime rates down is always a good idea. But police say the drone could help them in traffic crash investigations and search and rescue missions.